go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that choose Swipe, swipe, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena Ready to ignite, from the streets to the screen My skills are renowned in the world of Marvel I'm the king crown, so listen up Here's the story of the champ, Lost Shadow's the name I'm the grind track fan Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 50, and this is the first war with the new alliance. And look at who we're going up against. We're going up against the Null Zone, the alliance that I just left to come to the Nimrod Alliance. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see, who did they ban? Okay, they banned uh, Maestro, Venom, and Crossbones. Who's cro okay? Uh, Kushala is globally banned, and Iceman is banned immune. All right, good luck, guys. All right, um, let's take a look here and see what my old alliance has in store. Okay, so right off the bat, I already know um, Corvus is coming in. Oh, it's all tech, huh? Okay, now these guys are um, House of Mirrors, uh, at least according to the icon. Uh, guillotine 2099 and Omega Sentinel. All right, and then uh, ho -ho, we've got... Uh, and he's also a um, global defender. Hmm. Okay. I'm thinking Corvus is going to clean up. And Corvus is not a um, clarity, but I don't think he needs to be. I could be wrong. But we'll see. Uh, so what I'm thinking right now is to bring in Corvus, bring in Proxima Midnight. And if you don't know why, look at their synergies. And then bringing in a third, maybe um, just for backup, maybe. I don't know. Um see maybe hmm i'll have to see who else they might want me to bring but what i'm looking at here corvus and proxima can do now it's the first time i've been with this alliance so i don't know whether they do all the assignments or what have you all right so uh, I was told that, but so far, I haven't seen it. I've seen them do the sign-up sheet, which is what I was used to when I was with um, um, the Hellfire Club Omega Sentinel. They would do a pat, you know, do a sheet, and you would just sign up for the fights that you think you can do. So, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do, but at this point in time, I will argue for bringing Corvus and um, paired with Proxima and then one other, probably Hulkling uh, or a Clarity Attacker. I don't think um, Hulkling is a Clarity Attacker, so I might bring a, a clarity attacker you know just in case but i think corvus can do this yeah i think he can do this all right let's get to the fighting so we're going in with corvus 
with uh, Lady Deathstrike and Proxima Midnight. Obviously, we want Proxima Midnight for the True Strike after they auto block or evade. And that's the only reason that I'm bringing Proxima. She is not meant to fight. All right. Now, we actually have a treat for you guys. All right. Um, Odin, and I've never said her name uh, out loud, so I hope it's Odin and not Odine. <laughs> but uh, the leader of the alliance we're facing here, the Null Zone, sent me some videos of her fights. And she uses Vox a lot. And I love that because I don't get a chance to see a lot of Vox fighting. Um, I watched only one of the videos. Um, she took the boss, but the other fights that she um, had, the other mini, uh, mini boss, island, all that good stuff, um, I haven't watched it, so I'll watch it together with you guys. Okay? Uh, but anyway, first fight is going to be against this guillotine 2099 you always want to start off with that heavy attack now i'm thinking all right she's going to evade she's going to auto block she did none of that okay and i'm like come on i'm waiting come on evade auto block no she ain't want to do it okay so i'm like all right i'll i'll, I'll get that um that charge elsewhere no problem right so now we've got shocker corvus is great for shocker because he is not immune to shock but he doesn't take any damage from shocks and you see that auto block auto block is up so i'm like come on auto block auto block why, why, why aren't you auto blocking come on block block he, he don't want to block I'm like, come on, man. All right, whatever. So here's something about um, uh, Corvus. With the auto block and the evade charge, I found this out. He actually has a way to reduce their chance to do those things. So I'm thinking when I first saw his kit, so I'm trying to get an auto block in but part of his kit is to reduce the chance that they will. Seems counterproductive. So I'm still trying to get the um, charge. So I'm just like, all right, we know what we're going to do to him. Parry, get rid of all his armors. And I'm like, okay, I know what I'll do. I'll bait out the special one because he goes into that auto block phase, right? Okay, where did it go? Nope. Because he, he either because he didn't have any armor ups, so he didn't auto block. Uh, I'm like, oh, wow, still can't get the auto block. They have not auto blocked me yet. So I said, okay, that's fine. We just we we ripping through them. Now, I was tempted to do this just to get it all done, but I was like, nah, I'll wait. No rush. So now we're gonna fight. Omega Sentinel. Now you guys know one of her annoying features is that she is um, she does auto blocking, and she is a global defender. If I remember right, yeah, I see it there. Um, House of Mirrors, I think. So I'm like, okay, definitely gonna get an auto block in here. All right, so here we go. We're hitting there. We're hitting there. Oh, there's the auto block. That's what I wanted. Parry, heavy, bam, finally got my true strike up when I'm already done. You know, I was sitting here like, now I get it. Because I don't really have any more fights with, you know, um, Corvus. I mean, I could help out on um, that um, future Ant-Man fight. But I had already called, and that one was already called, but I called this uh, bishop. But you'll notice at the end here, I wait at the portal just in case I'm needed for any of the other fights. That way I can jump over there. Like if nobody can take that future Ant-Man, I can hop over there 
uh, if need be. So this fight, we've done it before. Uh, Corvus could have done this fight as well, just so you know. Uh, but this is why I brought my Lady Deathstrike. And the trick here is to make sure I don't finish the combo when he has one bar of power, as you see I'm doing, because I don't want him to fire that special one. I want to push him always to a special two and evade that. Now, with her, it won't be unblockable as long as I have a heal block on him. Okay? So, that's good. But here's the thing. Even if I was scared here, almost pushed him to a special three. But even if I get clipped by that, she's going to heal up. Now, the other thing is the... Um, the uh, Oh, look, I got... Okay, I had two. Now I only have one uh, power sting on me. So you have to watch for the power sting as well. All right? So that's all of my fights in this war. Now we have a series of fights from Odin, the leader of the other alliance. And I'm going to change the setup because her format, of course, on the phone is different than this. So uh, I'm going to be back with my green screen up and we'll react to it live. All right, so this is the first time I'm doing this. I'm actually learning how to do this. All right, so first up, she's fighting uh, Vox versus Negative, Mr. Negative. And I'm very curious here. Let's see, auto block failed, that's good. Okay. Ooh, I hate fighting Mr. Negative. All right. I see the evade charge up. But that undermine is uh, what will stop the auto blocking and the uh, evade. But look at his health. Yeah, see? Evade failed. Look at that health. Look at the damage. Oh my goodness. I want a seven star box. Yeah, look at that. Auto block failing. He seems to be really good for this uh, meta. Look at this. That DJ. And he looks cool. That was sweet. That was a sweet fight. All right, now we're going to fight uh, Shocker here. Shocker can be annoying. You see the nodes and all that on uh, Mini Boss Island. Actually, there's no Mini Boss Island anymore. Now it's just Boss Island. All right. I really wish they changed the colors. That Vigilance makes me think unblockable. And he does go unblockable, so it's not a, a unusual thing to think, you know? But look at her go. Hey. Look at the, um, because I noticed it starts off a little slow, but then that D-Gen just really, yeah, see, that was unblockable. It's the same color as the Vigilance. Uh-oh. Very tanky. I mean, wow. Took all that damage. Yup, and I see the, uh, the poisons. Oh, she had falter on her. But look at the look at the damage. Look at Wow. Okay. Look at this. Look at Vox go. What? I have a um, six star Vox. I don't remember if I took him to rank four even. But this has me wondering if I should. Now, Killmonger on this node, you guys have watched me in the past fight Killmonger on this node. It was not fun. Didn't have a good counter. Let's see how she handles this one. Okay. Can't stun him. So you no parrying. You gotta do it like stun immune. You can parry his um, special. 
He didn't do that. So, let's see. I'm trying to figure out the uh, strat here. I don't use uh, Shuri that often. Critical shock. Okay. I see, I see, I see. So just shock him to death. I remember uh, one guy got stuck here before. It was ugh. So this is how we're supposed to do it. I was I was with them, um, the null void, uh, null zone, uh, when I went up against him on this same node. Ooh, yeah, I don't know how to evade that against the uh, wall. I really don't. But okay, so this is what this is how you got to do it. Let the shocks do their work. Oh, sweet. He went unstoppable in time to go untouchable for his special. Okay. So that's what um, we should have done. Man, and you have a nice seven star Shuri, which I still don't have yet. Okay, so here is the boss fight. Now, this is the only one that I saw. And <laughs> wait till y'all see how this goes. This was a good fight. She's going in with Vox. And uh, she put on the invulnerability uh, boost here. All right. Yep, there's that auto block. But she's ready for it. Cool, cool. All right. Building up, it looks like. I gotta learn more about Vox, too. Okay, dexed it beautifully. Okay. I didn't see how she got whiplashes on her just now, but she did. So, does that do a whiplash? Apparently, it does. Okay, I didn't know that. Uh oh, and then she got hit. Now she got five whiplashes on her that are expiring and doing damage every time they expire. Look at this, pop, pop, pop. Nasty. So his special one puts whiplash on you even if it doesn't hit you? Looks like it does. I can't remember if I knew that and just forgot. Because I haven't been fighting him a lot lately. Yeah. It's putting the whiplash on. Okay. That's ugly. And he is firing them things off like crazy. So she's getting whiplashed. Whiplashed. Okay, I see what's happening. But, look at this. He's going down. He's going down. When I saw that, I went, no! Even though she's my opponent, I, that was ugly. That was ugly. She just needed like a second or two just to let her degen finish him off. Oh, man. That sucked. But all right. That's it for the fighting portion of this video. We'll be back in a minute, and you'll find out just how this war ended. And we're back and as you can see we won this war first war of the season and it was a close battle let's take a look here look at this they got more attack bonus but their diversity they would have won this war if they had full diversity so look at this look at this look at this and of course odin MVP over there. Shout out to our MVPs. Guardian, Hashira, and Kirkland. But that diversity. <clears throat> so if you guys don't know, and Odin now knows, uh, she, she missed this. But 
you lose a lot more points now. Diversity is worth a lot more than it has been in the past. So you really don't want to double up on your defenders. Even if they're really good defenders, it's not worth it. And that's what Kabam did. They wanted to make sure people weren't doing that because they would use, you know, the really difficult defenders, bullseye, <clears throat> um, uh, uh, onslaught, or uh, uh, serpent, and they would just put them everywhere. So they were like, no, we can't have them doing that. And so they increased the amount, and that is what happened here. All right. Anyway. That is going to do it. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind. That's how we roll. No stress, no drama. Just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown.